In the previous discussion, we have discussed the bilge and waste oil handling. Now let's dig deeper into how the oily water separator really works. The process begins with the accumulation of bilge water in the bilge holding tank. A bilge pump transfers the accumulated bilge water from the holding tank to the oily water separator. This pump is specifically designed to handle the mixture of oil and water without causing emulsification, which can hinder the separation process. To enhance the efficiency of separation, the chamber containing the coalescer screen is preheated to a temperature range of 45 to 60 degrees Celsius. Heating the mixture lowers the viscosity of the oil, allowing it to separate more readily from water. This temperature range is optimized to maximize separation efficiency without causing excessive emulsification of the oil and water. Once in the OWS, the first stage of separation occurs mainly through gravity. Since oil is less dense than water, it tends to rise to the top. This stage allows for the bulk separation of free oil from water, significantly reducing the oil content in the mixture. The partially separated mixture then passes through a coalescer screen or filter. This component is designed to increase the size of oil droplets by encouraging smaller droplets to merge, coalesce, into larger ones. Larger oil droplets are easier to separate from water due to the increased buoyancy. An oil sensing probe within the OWS continuously monitors the oil content in the water. This probe is sensitive to the presence of oil. Upon detecting oil at a predetermined concentration, the probe sends a signal to the control box. This signal activates a solenoid valve, which then opens to allow the separated oil to be drawn out of the separation chamber and transferred to the oily bilge tank for further handling or disposal. After the initial processing stages in the primary chamber of an oily water separator, where the bulk of the oil is separated from the water, the bilge water undergoes further processing. The partially treated water from the primary chamber is then passed through absorber cartridges. These cartridges are designed to remove smaller oil particles that the initial stages may not have fully separated. They work by absorbing or adsorbing the residual oil from the water, effectively reducing the oil content even further. Similar to the first chamber, this chamber is also equipped with an oil sensor. Once the bilge water has been processed through the absorber cartridges, it moves to a critical process involving a three-way valve. This valve plays a pivotal role in determining the regulatory requirements of the processed bilge water. An oil content detector draws a sample of the treated water to analyze its oil concentration. The key threshold for discharge into the sea is 15 parts per million of oil content. This standard is set by International Maritime Regulations under MARPOL Annex 1. If the sample's oil content exceeds the 15 ppm limit, the processed bilge water does not meet the criteria for discharge. Consequently, the three-way valve routes it back to the bilge holding tank, which is subjected to further treatment until it meets the required standards. Conversely, if the processed bilge water meets the discharge criteria, having an oil content of 15 ppm or less, the three-way valve is activated to allow for its discharge into the sea. This careful monitoring and control mechanism ensures compliance with environmental regulations, preventing the discharge of potentially harmful levels of oil into marine environments. This system of checks and balances, including the use of absorber cartridges and the critical operation of the three-way valve, ensures that the discharged water from ships meets strict environmental standards. The process underscores the maritime industry's commitment to minimizing its environmental footprint and protecting the oceans from pollution.